happened to that one king? He got his junk messed up. Lost fertility and everything. Did, I, I think he actually died from that wound eventually. Uh-oh. Why is that happening? And we lost all our dudes. Because it's winter, probably. As I predicted, we don't have very many men left. More than what I said. That was kind of a facetious thing, anyway. Okay. I'm trying to pay more attention to that. I'm usually not a very good micromanager, so something I need to work on. Alright. Where were those regiments destroyed? Acre. Oh, the Dutch Gallery is actually coming in. There. Oh, actually, that, that, those units were destroyed, too. Well, hopefully this good battle goes better. Okay. Well, whoever was in charge of the... in charge of them died. So. Oh, my wife died. That's terrible. Oh, shit. Well. If we get Baghdad, it'll be worth it. Maybe. Nope. Because we just lost a shitload of troops. Why do they get so many guys? some dudes. Yeah. Argy Petre, the guy just, uh, let's deserve a Felix. Stupid. Lots of Arabias. Have money. I don't care.
Byzantines get the claim this time, but I am just going to be so mad. Yes. Alright. Now let's see. Give me your bag. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, coerce him into it a bit. That worked. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we've got the the jewel of another useful thing to do is just to go in here and uh, you can see where your regiments are and click on them. It's not that useful, but. Um, it makes it so that you can actually see where some of them are. Like right now, everything should be mobilized. And that was really what scared him into to saying, oh crap, I should, I should give into this. Because I didn't have all of my troops mobilized, not even close, before. Um, so when I did a full mobilization, uh, which I very rarely do, because it's a kind of a big test of your your vassal's loyalty. Um, okay, 80%, that's not bad. Um, it makes it so that uh, if there's disloyal ones, they, they might break off, but um, yeah. So all I really know, need to worry about is my king's severely wounded. And I've had rulers with severely wounded last really, really long time, so. I'm not too worried about it. Um, it is dangerous, and I could die from it from any moment. Uh, but I could get an event that makes it go away too. So uh, it's just one of those risks you to take when you you go to war and you have your king commanding an army. Um, I really shouldn't have had my king command the army, but uh, one of the reasons I think uh, the the Byzantines got the claim on that land was because they had a higher ranking guy there than I did. And uh, I didn't have my king there that time, but I think because I had actually done most of the siege before I got there, that it didn't matter. Um, so I could be wrong in that, but that's just kind of what I think was going on. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna cut out the rest of this disbanding armies and stuff, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, uh, I did a little housekeeping. I married some pre some people off. I let the game run a little bit so that I could um, make sure everybody who uh, was going to answer the call answered the call. And there were actually quite a few people who hadn't done it yet. Um, and I wanted to. I don't think we've actually had to, we, we've actually had an opportunity to do this yet. Um, we actually have a a, a chance to uh, usurp a title. Uh, now, usurping a title, I don't believe, um, costs. Uh, does, I don't believe costs us uh, reputation. So, but I don't know. Let's check. Okay, uh, our reputation is at two point four for grabbing this and then uh, taking Baghdad. Um, that was an opportunity cost, so I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll uh, pay that. Uh, now, you might be thinking, well, that's not really worth 1,400 uh, reputation points. 
in. No, it's not. But it's the only way we're gonna get it, unless we wait for this king to die. Uh, which, now that I think of it, might be a better idea. However, uh, with our us being, you know, severely wounded, we might die any moment. Uh, so. We really should take any opportunity to, to grab uh, what we can. Um, and by the time we get a chance to actually declare war on them, um, it may not even matter. So, let's usurp the title. Now let's check our reputation. We're at 2.4, and we're still 2.4. So, because we have the rightful, uh, the rightful claim on the title, we can... We can grab it without much uh, penalty. Uh, there, there will be a penalty, but it's just a prince title, so then it's not going to be. It's going to be like four, so I don't really care. Um, but also, I want Karbala. So uh, when it comes time to do that, uh, we'll be fighting. I'll, I'll probably grab the title for Karbala, and then. We'll fight over that, and uh, I'll try to make it so that I can actually get Karbala from them, along with the Prince title, so that way I can get, I can get Baghdad, and, uh, I can get Baghdad and, and Cyprus in one shot. Um, they don't have Baghdad, but I can create it, so, um, that's kind of my line of thinking, um. 2.4 reputation is going to take a while for it to go away, but we got 600. We got 600 piety now, which is really good. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, hopefully our king doesn't die uh, before we get a chance to do anything with him. Uh, we gained a lot of prestige just from, well, probably just from uh, existing because we got a lot of land. But we'll see. Um, I don't know how our intrigue went down, and yet we are controlling a bunch of provinces. And what did our... I don't know why our stability dropped. Yeah, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be allowed to have that many. Maybe it's the Emperor title? I don't know. Or it's lying to me. Anyway, that hardly matters. Uh, what we're looking at is a pretty dire situation, actually, if, if the king dies. Uh, he's not too bad uh, as far as child heirs go, but he's significantly worse than the king we're looking at now. Um, he's got five years. He can, he can get better. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking it probably last five years. Uh, as usual, we'll keep our eye on that, but basically I'll come back when we get a reputation low enough that we can actually do something, or something else interesting happens. Um, we're in the home stretch of the game here, uh, or getting towards the home stretch of the game. Uh, this is the last hundred years of the game, so 75% of the game is over. And we're in a pretty comfortable position. If I wanted to, I could just sit and coast for the rest of the time. But I don't really want to do that. But then again, I don't want to take over the whole world either. Um, because I do intend to um, convert to Europa Universalist 3. So uh, I kind of want to have stuff to do there. And, you know, I know that the rest of the world is there in Europa Universalist 3. So it's not going to be Europe is everything. Well, yes, it kind of is. Uh, they don't call it Europa Universalist for nothing. Uh, Europe is the most important part uh, of Europa Universalist 3. So the rest of the stuff is just kind of crap that you deal with. Uh, but if you get a lot of stuff in Europe, you're pretty well off. So uh, That changes when you get to Victoria and stuff. But that's a different story. Um, anyway, I, I'm kind of rambling a bit, so... Well, this might be exactly what we need to reduce our reputation. Uh, down to, I think, 
one point uh, six or something. I don't know. Uh, one point six, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, this is our twenty-two intrigue uh, elusive shadow spy master, but. Uh, frankly, the spy master isn't exactly my uh, uh, most important. Okay, uh, so it's like, what the hell does that mean? Uh, my our most important uh, position at the moment. So that's somebody we got to replace. So let's do that. I don't know. That's pretty good. Not as good, but still really decent. Um, so now we should be down to, uh, yeah, 1.2. So, um, now, uh, the Byzantines are, it's been back and forth between the Byzantines and the Turks. Um, I kind of want the war to end so that I can do this, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to grab a title uh, on that land because it's part of ba the Baghdad uh, duchy and uh, because it's a big purple blob in the middle of the wall. It uh, has a border with this, but you know what I mean. Oh, I can't. I don't have a... Oh, I already have a claim on that. The crap. So I get it for recording stuff on different days. Huh. Well, I can't do anything about it right now because the Turks have it. Uh, so we're not allied with them anymore. We could go after Amalfrak. Is this part of Syria? Yeah. I don't see any real problem with that. There aren't any islands for us to grab that aren't part of some other place. Or... Well, we could take out the calf sits. I don't know about that. They'll just pop up again, though. Are we on the conversion front? Not very well. Good. Um, so, yeah, that's probably not the best idea. Oh, actually, I could go after this, but I, frankly, I don't give a crap about Sicily anymore. They've imploded and are no longer useful to us. They're just another stumbling block now. That's what happens. You you could be on top of the world, and you're a bad leader, and bam, you suck. Um, what else? That's also part of Syria. Let's check on our titles. I need, I know, I need about a bazillion for, oh, <laughs> it's like, what the crap? Oh, yeah, then I could do that. Uh, but Denmark's got nothing weakening again. Denmark's, oh, they're at the war with the Almoravids. Let's check that out. That, too far. Huh. I don't know if I showed this, but the Almoravids got their ass beat by the, the Duchy of Galicia. They used to be something else, but then they took a bunch of war stuff in the Almoravids. So, Almoravids got fucked over pretty bad. Um, oh, this! Holy crap. Do we have a claim on this? We don't. That guy's annoying. So that, okay, so that's what I spent my, spend my reputation on. Uh, yeah, that, back down to 1.6. So when this goes down, I will, uh, I'll take this guy out, because he's annoying the crap out of me, doing that stuff. And then I'll attach his lands to the, the Duchy of Brittany. Um, and then basically I'll just keep an eye on this, this situation here. And if, uh, this breaks off, uh, that's stuff I'm not really too keen on. I forgot to keep looking. Yeah, I'm still really far from Syria, so. And there's so much stuff that is in Syria, like all the way up to Alexandretta over here, and then Albishri over here. 
so. Even Al uh, Jazeera over here, so. Yeah, like this.